Hi everyone, this is Terry. In this video, we'll be going over the general settings that are found when you select the sewing machine under the settings page. This goes from page four through page seven. The first will be language. You can choose your spoken language from a list that includes several languages here. When you select a different language, you'll notice all the commands change to that language. The next setting is for your lighting under the arm and needle of your machine. The default value is five. I turned mine down for the video. The next setting is for your screen display. The default is four and you can increase it or decrease it from one to six. The next setting is for your upper and bobbin thread sensor. If you turn this off, you can sew without thread in the machine. If you have it on and you try to sew without thread, the sensor will recognize it and you'll get an error message. The next setting is for your machine volume. This can be turned off or can be set as high as five. And I'll set it back at one <laughs> for the video. The next is for needle stitch pl placement. Typically, I leave this off. When it is off and you press the needle down button on the head of your machine, the needle will penetrate the fabric. When you press that button again, your needle will raise. When you turn this on, what happens is your needle will go down. When you press it the first time, your needle will go down right above your fabric, but will not puncture the fabric. When you press the needle down again, it penetrates the fabric. And when you press it the third time, it raises back up. You might want to have it set like this to help you place something for accuracy if you're trying to make sure you line up and start in, the, in an exact area. The next setting is for your initial screen setting. This can be the opening screen, which are those bright little videos the home page or your sewing and embroidery screen. These two settings are eco settings. The first is an eco mode. The eco mode setting can be set to off all the way up to 120 minutes in 10, 10 minute increments. I typically have mine set on about 10 minutes. If I walk away from my machine and come back to wake it up, all I have to do is touch the screen or touch the start stop button. The shut off support mode will actually shut your machine down such that it will shut down in one of these hour increments and you have to turn your machine back on to start it again. The screen saver can be set so that it cycles through some pictures. These can be the pictures that are built into your machine, or it can be pictures that you have loaded onto your machine. This can be set for up to 60 minutes at a time. Or, and that, that means that's when the screensaver comes on. So in my case, I have my screensaver coming on in five minutes, and my machine will go into eco mode at 10 minutes. To select the pictures, you select this setting. These are the default, and if you want to customize it, you click on this icon. You'll be able to load pictures off of a USB stick, and you can set them up to be used for rotation during the screensaver function. Your manual will tell you what type of pictures you can use, and it will also tell you that the pictures cannot be more than two megabytes each, and it'll specify the size of each picture. The mouse pointer, you notice I have a mouse selected. I can change the pointer, but one thing I want to mention about the mouse is, unlike your computer, on the machine, your mouse can only function with the left mouse button. The other buttons on the mouse will not function, nor will the little wheel. And you also have limitations on using scroll bars. Any scroll bar that is over to the right, like in the sewing menu, 
You see the scroll bar? I cannot reach it with the mouse. I would have to take my hands or the other pointer to, to reach that scroll bar. The next setting is for your projector. When you press start, your projector will come on under the needle of your machine and you'll see the brightness settings down here. I'll move my camera so you can see it. You will notice as I cycle through the brightness, right now it's at four. I'll move it to three, two, and one. And so you can go from one to four with four being the default. The other settings that you can set for your projector are the background color. You can use what I just had on the machine, which was the this light background color. You can choose the dark color or a gray color. Pattern outline actually outlines each of the stitches that are projected whenever you project a stitch on the fabric. This could be good with a stitch that's small, like a little straight stitch, but most patterns do project pretty well on the machine. I typically leave it off. The point of color can be changed from green, white, or red. You would probably use white on the darkest fabrics. I tend to use green and red most often. Likewise, you can change the pointer shape from this T shape to a circle. The next icon represents the camera needle position setting. We won't go through this because to do this, you have to take one of the sheets that's included with your supplies have a 75 by 11 or 90 by 14 needle, and you need to puncture the paper. Once you puncture that paper, you're not supposed to reuse that sticker again. When you want to do this, if you want to make sure that your camera is calibrated or you feel it's not calibrated, you can go through this process by pressing start. You'll need to have the white sticker handy whenever you do that. This section shows you your service count, your total count, your machine number, and the version of your software. This ends the section for the general machine settings.